I played the worst openings in chess history to see if they're actually as bad as everyone says. Brother, uh. If you play a shitty opening, you're pretty much doomed for the rest of the game. Unless your name is Hikaru Nakamura or you're rated 3000 online. The number one is the worst opening in history. Number four. All right, so now we got the white pieces versus a 2100. That is not good. But we're gonna play pawn to g4. This is known as the grab opening. He goes pawn to g5, not g5, that's not g5, that's d5. So now he's attacking the pawn, but we're just gonna go pawn to e3, defending the pawn with the queen. What is he going to play now? This is a three minute game, by the way, so we have no time. And he's very confused, of course. He has wasted a lot of time. Let's just develop the pieces and pretend like this is an actual opening. What to do here? I have no idea. Let's go d3, bishop here and try to long castle maybe that would be that would be a reasonable plan why well, he's really thinking isn't he at 2100 okay so he's threatening pawn to d4 now so we kind of have to go bishop here if d4 now we take take and knight to e4 maybe knight to e7 he wants to short castle this of course doesn't work but i'm just gonna try to scare this guy a little bit pawn to h4 ah he gets scared i like that okay so pawn to g5 maybe he goes bishop g4 attacking my queen but then I just can cover with the bishop. In other news, I can also just take that pawn. Do I wanna do that? I don't think I do. I think I'm just gonna develop this bishop. If you wanna take that, you are more than welcome to take it. Knight there, okay. So he, now he's attacking the pawn on h4. Okay, so I'm just gonna go pawn to g5 and now I'm threatening to simply take this pawn and I would be happy to be up a pawn in this position. Okay, he takes on c3. Do I take back? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna take back with the bishop. And now he goes d4, okay. Do I wanna take that? I mean, yeah, let's just take it and then go here, preventing him from castling. And now I'm still attacking the pawn on h5. That should be interesting, at least. Queen to b6 might be an idea. Queen to b6, attacking the bishop. No, he doesn't do that, okay. Ah, he's threatening knight to g2 check. Let's go bishop to f3. You can't even give me a check because of this guy. There we go, he wants to get rid of the bishop. But I love this bishop, so I'm just gonna keep it here, preventing the castle. Okay, of course he wants to do that. Now let's bring the bishop down this way. If you attack this bishop, there's queen to d2 attacking this knight. I'm gonna do it anyways. Queen here. Putting pressure on this knight. Knight to d5, okay. This is a free, a free pawn, by the way. I'm just gonna take it. And then I'm attacking this guy. Nah, now he can castle. I don't love that. But if he castles, he drops this pawn. At least. I only got 37 seconds. Wow, rook there. That's crazy. Let's attack the rook. Pawn to f5 maybe. He goes there, okay. Let's go pawn to f4. Scare him a little bit more. This is wild. I don't understand what's going on here. Knight to d7. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna develop this dude. Ah, he's threatening c5. Interesting. Oh shit. Okay, let's go here. And if c5, I just take that pawn. But then he takes on f4, okay. Ah, he really wants to go c5. Okay, let's go here. If c5, I just drop back. He can't even move this knight. Oh wait, that's a free rook. I'm gonna take it. Thank you so much. As I, I, I was just saying that and he did it. And then I'm, I'm gonna long castle next. And I don't know what, what I'm gonna do after that. Let's go here. And then let's pin this bishop. And I'm threatening to take the knight on d5. I'll watch out for that. Let's go here. I'm attacking the knight again. I'm attacking the knight again. Okay, let's drop back. A really long time. That's not checkmate, that is really bad. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I lost on time. Oh man, I got nervous. I completely forgot about the rook on h7. I gotta be honest. Let's check the game review. I wanna see what happened there. That's crazy. I was actually better for a long time here. Then in this position, the move was knight to h3. Yeah, I was, I was never gonna find that. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this a free pawn? Bishop takes g6, attacking the rook. Where are you gonna move the rook? You can't move it anywhere. The bishops are just killing that rook. This is crazy. I was way better here, but I got nervous under time pressure. Number three. All right, so now we're playing against a 1700, almost 1800. And now we're gonna go pawn to f3, and this is known as the Baroness opening, and then pawn to g4. And this is so bad because this diagonal potential, if you get your queen to this square, that's gonna be checkmate because I can't move my king anywhere. All right, he goes bishop to g7. Let's just develop the pieces, all very natural. If he moves this pawn, I just gotta go pawn to h4. There we go. So now again, he's threatening queen to h4. That's gonna be checkmate. So I have to go pawn to h4 to prevent that. Pawn to d5, okay. Let's go e4 here. That's crazy. I'm just moving pawns. I'm, I'm expecting pawn to d4 by a 1700. He's not gonna take on e4. Surely he's not. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna take this guy. Why not? Knight to b4, attacking this pawn. There we go. Let's give a little check right here. Bishop d7, or am I crazy? There we go, bishop d7. And now let's just go bishop c4, defending this pawn a little bit more. Now he goes knight to e7. Uh, let's just go pawn to d3. I mean, there's no rush to attack this knight. Maybe there is actually. Let's go pawn to a3 first, attacking this knight. You have to go to a6. Okay, I could take that. I could take that and double up your pawns. 
that's kind of horrible for you, but I'm opening up the B file. I'm not sure I love that. I don't hate it either. Not sure what to do here. I'm actually just gonna go pawn to d3 to develop this bishop. That is wild. This guy's not, not afraid of anything. Let's go pawn to h5. I'm not afraid of anything either. If he takes on g4, I'll just take back. There we go. This is defended by the queen. And then let's see what happens next. Wow, look at that. This guy's not afraid of anything. By the way, this is already winning a piece, but I'm looking for something better is there something better if i take on g6 he's gonna take with the knight of course because this guy is happening uh let's just go pawn to d6 let's not do anything stupid i'm down in time quite a lot ah uh, man i, re I really want to take on g6 he takes with the knight do i sacrifice something there god damn it i don't i don't see it all right so let's just take the knight and then let's take this guy if he go if he goes here that's that's just really bad this is just losing that's crazy this is losing already for black not not like a little bit this is completely losing for the black pieces and you can't do anything you can't do anything to stop this that's a problem if you go pawn to h6 or h5 i just take that well pawn to h6 i take with the bishop of course and then i'm kind of forcing the trade and this is this is just losing for black there we go so i'm just gonna take this guy now should be pretty straightforward then you take with the bishop i take back with the rook wow he doesn't even care what what if what if this i'm sorry i'm really low on time so i gotta be i gotta stop doing stupid things let's just take the queen oh he resigns i thought he was gonna try to flag me let's see what happened on this game actually see pawn to f5 by him is just a really bad inaccuracy because you're gonna castle short but then i got this deadly bishop right here so you're just not taking my pieces into account. Yeah, he's probably just thinking, oh, my opponent played a shitty opening. Let's just throw an attack. Well, yeah, I played a shitty opening, but I got pieces too, though. You're not the only one who can attack. Then pawn to d6 was a great move by me. I don't know why that's great, though. Uh, that's just a very obvious discovered check with a double attack. But hey, I'll take it, trust.com. Thank you. Number two. All right, so now we got the black pieces versus a 1200. He goes pawn to e4, so let's go pawn to f6. And this is known as the Baroness defense. The previous one was the Baroness opening. This is worse because now we are down a tempo. So white can play first and they can kill us faster. Now if I go pawn to g5, which is the idea, he has queen to h5 and that will be checkmate. So let's not do that. Let's go pawn to h5, preparing pawn to g5 on the next move. Bishop to c4. Okay, let's go pawn to g5. Well, he's really thinking, isn't he? What is that username? He's sir. No, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Knight to f3. Okay, let's develop the pieces. All very natural. And I think I'm gonna try to castle long in this game. I haven't done it so far, so let's try to castle long. Wow, he takes the knight on g8. How interesting. Let's take that with the rook. And then if he moves the knight, he's gonna be attacking this pawn. Just gotta watch out for that. Now he castles. Wow. Let's go pawn to d6 to open up the diagonal for the bishop. Pawn to h3. That is a bad move because it gives me a breaking point. Now I have pawn to g4, and that's even stronger. You're not really defending anything. If you go pawn to h3 knight there okay right, so if i take the pawn there's queen takes h5 and that is a check i have to move to d7 and does he have a draw there queen to f5 for example but then i go pawn to e6 queen to h7 attacking the rook rook to g7 attacking the queen i don't see any perpetual so i'm gonna do it let's take this pawn wow he pre-moved queen takes h5 okay and so let's go king to d7 queen to g4 is not a possibility because of this guy okay so he attacks the rook but i thought i had rook to g7 defending the rook with the bishop attacking the queen at the same time and you don't have any other checks i think well i'm really low on time though i gotta speed it up quite a lot Wherever the queen goes, I'm going to take the pawn on, D on g2. There we go. And then should I take this guy or not? I think I should. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take that guy. Wow, he defends. Okay, so let's move my queen. Ask him for some traits. Queen to e6. There's pawn to e6. Queen to f5, sorry. You could take the pawn on f6, but is that really good? Yeah, he takes the pawn on, on f6. Let's attack the queen again. I want to bring this bishop into the game. Now he's really low on time, so that's good. Let's go here. Now we have to develop this bishop somehow. I don't know how, but we got to do it. Um, let's go here. He takes, oh shit. Did I just blunder that? Yeah, I did. Let's go here. Take back with the knight. Knight to e5. Attacking this dude. Interesting. Wow. Uh, he went crazy. Yeah, I like that. He went absolutely crazy. Look at that. There we go. The good old pre-move. It will never let you down. All right, so that was a really bad game from both of us. So I'm not even gonna check the game review because that would be embarrassing. So let's just go into the last game instead. Number one. All right, so now we're gonna play the worst opening in chess history. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about the Bond Cloud. 
This is so horrible because you can never move this king. You can never castle again. And my opponent does the same thing. What is going on? He's a 900. That is the lowest rated player I have played so far today. Let's go knight to c3. And now that he played the bond cloud as well, I think it's gonna be a lot more simple to me. Let's go pawn to f4, trying to open some things up. If he takes on f4, I'm gonna take back with the bishop. And then I have to watch out for some, uh, for some bishop to g4, pinning my queen to the king. What to do here? I'm not really sure. What is the theory with the bond cloud? I'm gonna take that pawn. He takes with the knight. Okay, now he's attacking this bishop. So let's take the knight on d5 as well. Takes with the queen and now let's go knight to f3. I have to develop some pieces. And then let's see what happens next. I was really not expecting that he would play the bond cloud as well. Let's go king to f2. If you give me any checks, I can just block with the bishop. Pawn to g5, okay. Let's go queen to e1 check first. King all the way back. Let's go bishop to e5. Attacking the rook. Threatening bishop to f6 with a check. Many things going on here. Rook there, okay. Let's go bishop to f6. Gotta be careful. If king to d Seven. there's a fork oh that's it knight to e5 with the magical fork king goes to c8 now we're gonna take the bishop on g4 bishop to c5 check now let's go pawn to d4 if you take on d4 i'm just gonna take that yeah he does that i'm just gonna take with the bishop takes with the queen and now let's go queen to e3 oh wait my knight is hanging oh my god he didn't see it Jesus, that was crazy. My knight was completely hanging. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful. Let's go bishop to d3 defending this pawn. And then I wanna go like rook to f1 and bring the king to g1 and h1. If he allows me, of course. He's really thinking, okay, knight to c6. Let's try to force the exchange, actually. I wanna get rid of all the pieces. Rook to e7 now, putting pressure everywhere. And then this, is, this should be just a beautiful pin winning the game. I'm gonna take that. Take this guy. And let's try to go for a quick checkmate. We just have to worry about not flagging, and that's gonna be very easy. Checkmate, beautiful. Okay, everyone, there you have it. If you play a bad opening, you will be very, very uncomfortable the rest of the game. So make sure you have a very good and solid opening repertoire. Something that you feel comfortable with. Don't just copy someone else because you see they have good results. Everyone is different. And if you like the video, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. And I will see you tomorrow in the next game.